Well, guys, doesn't look like we're going to be getting out there anytime soon. But it's never too early to start thinking about the top five lures you're going to use once the ice goes out. Let's take a look at them. Okay guys, let's take a look at the top five baits we're going to be using once we get rid of the ice. First thing off, the water temperature is probably going to be in the 30s or maybe the low 40s. The bass are going to be lethargic, they're not going to be moving very fast. So the number one bait most people are going to grab, it's going to be a suspending jerk bait. Basically it's take, bring it out, work along maybe the rocky riprap along some of the jetties that stick out along the bank. Suspend, bring it back, suspend it, and then set it. Twitch it a couple times, and then let it sit. You may be 5, 10, 20, 30 seconds, depending on the day. Another couple twitches, and you let it sit. The jerk bait works real well because it's going to mimic some minnow or shad that are dying, and they're just kind of laying around, and all of a sudden they jerk just a little bit, and they stop again. So that's why this can be very effective. Also, right after ice out is probably the cleanest water you're going to see for the year. And this is more of a sight lure than anything else. So clean water really makes a difference here. Now in my case, the first thing I'm going to grab, whoops, well I'm going to drop on top of it. The first thing I'm going to grab is a lipless crankbait. And it's probably going to be red. Uh, in my case, the, the bass are looking for crawdads early on. I like the red color this time of the year. I like the lipless because you can let it sink as you bring it back, you don't have to be real fast with the retrieve. But the nice thing about the lipless is it's not going to have a lot of wobble to it. It's going to run pretty straight back. You don't want a lot of lure movement like this because, again, the water's cold, the bass are lethargic. They're a little slower to catch up. For me, that's one thing I like. Now, I do like it here, the red. I've also used some here, kind of a uh, light green with some orange or red on that. Color really doesn't make a whole lot, I don't think. but. I tend to like the red this time of year. To stay on the crankbaits, I'd also use a square bill. I'm also ready to use a square bill, might be a medium diving or deep diving, depending where the water conditions are, how deep the water is when you're working. Again, I do not want a square bill that's really going to have a lot of side to side movement. Water's too cold, the bass aren't going to catch up to something with a lot of side to side movement, so I want something that's fairly straightforward just like the lipless, and the square bill will do the job for you too. After that, I guess I could say it could be a chatterbait. Uh, a chatterbait is something you can bring her down, let her sink. This one's got the skirt, doesn't have a trailer on this one right now. Something you can let sink, something you can work slow. You, can, you don't even have to bring it back to your tree. You can kind of pump it up and down, let it sink down, pump it back up. So it'll work that way. I also like it. I tend to like more, again, I tend to like with an orange trailer like this. Now this happens to be something I put together. This is a shaky head, all right? And I put a chatterbait type blade on a shaky head. That allows me to run this actually weedless. So if I get down around those rocks on those jetties, I got a little better chance maybe of getting out of there than I do where I've got my, uh, my hooks more exposed. That's just me on that one. And finally, number five, has got to be the jig. The jig is going to work in a sense, kind of like uh, your jerk bait. It's going to be a slow, slow, steady retrieve. This is going to be something you're going to put it down, bring it up, put it back down, and maybe just working it real slow across the bottom. And when it's cold like this, and the bass are that lethargic, this one's going to work out well in that case too. So there it is. That's my five lures. Jerk bait, lipless crankbait, square bill, chatterbait, and a jig. Those five are about all I'm going to need as long as the water temperature is in the 40s, maybe up to about 52 or 53. Once we get almost to that mid-50 mark, now we're going to start making a few changes on the lures we're using. But those five, they'll get you started as soon as we get rid of that stuff. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would.
see you again real soon.